Hey guys, this is, this is Happy Five Woman, and today we'll be looking on our um, Phoenix, our Phoenix Vansar. And if you haven't seen part one of me building this in automation, I highly recommend you to do so. But anyway, any further ado, let's get right into it. So as you see, as you know, this is supposed to be a Corvette-like engine because of the way I made the engine, the turbos. Are supposed to act like a supercharger because there's no superchargers in the game so I put two turbos hopefully they will work like a supercharger but anyways let's see and as I tested this out this car can go 218 miles per hour which is astonishing for what it can do what it can do wheel spin this isn't a wheel spin, spin monster at all even though it's rear wheel drive and has a lot of power, it doesn't wheel spin as much. Let me show you. Like, yes, there was a wheel spin. But when you were, when I was turning, that's where the wheel spin happened. Only 10 per it only has 10 percent wheel spin, so it shouldn't be bad as the um, as another car. Like for um, example, our um, Phoenix 500 DDB, which has 12 percent on wheel spin, which is close as this, but that's a huge difference. They both have the same engine, both are rear wheel drive, and. Uh, I'll show you how it's a wheel spin monster. Wait, what? Oh, it has ESG on. So this just wants to do wheel spin. Now let me do delete this. Look, this just doesn't do wheel spin. Well behaved in a matter that it can do stuff. It's not a good cornering car because wheel spins. But as all all usual cars, it can be fixed by by like slowly easing on throttle. But now let's just go on the elemental strips. Let, can it go on um, sand or dirt? Thirteen hundred horsepower and rear wheel drive. That's controllable. This, as as far as the styling goes, I'm actually impressed. With how it looks. really un uncontrollable like turning is not its key major uh, part but like top speed it can do that where un unlike the real Corvette where it's supposed to be like a track car this is like a drag car where it's supposed to be wait let me just get myself out but it's supposed to be good for like the drag strips only because it's good for going in a straight line. But now let's see if it can it can go mudding, which normally Corvettes can can't do that because they don't have high suspend like a little high suspension. Well, mine is a little raised, so like the wheels would fit, and it can go a little bumps. I like my diffuser. Not too bad, but it can be worked on. But it has a lot of horsepower and, and a lot of height, but it doesn't have all-wheel drive. Well, let's see how it goes. In the mud anyways. Okay, 
Okay, it went this far. Because it's stuck. Let me just tug it a little and see if it can... No, I can't get it out. So now I have to pull it out. And now let's see if we can go from a difficult to easy. Drift hero, maybe. Drag hero, maybe. Rally hero. I'm not even sure. It just needs running starts. can't go in the mud as bad, as good as like the other like really high horsepower cars, but that's okay because it wasn't meant for the mud anyways. Can it go in the sand? on this part, which I'm not sure what that is supposed to be. Ice is slippery. So it got aided by the ground. I don't think the Eskimos will like something that will slip. what this part is. I think this is tarmac. Okay. Good brakes. You know what? It actually handled really good on the tarmac itself. Like the tarmac was grippy. I'm sure this is more grippy. Red. Yes, tarmac. So that's something new. Um, now let's see if you can go if you can go muddy. Which the answer will be no, but I'm going to try anyways. Bumps, can it handle bumps? Yes, it can handle the bumps. Small bumps, big bumps, somewhat bumps, and can it go muddy? So yes, it 
can. Higher suspension is required. I'm just pulling it out all the way through. So I cannot do that. But can you go mud bogging? Maybe. Can it complete the flight of stairs? So yes, this is controllable. Um. Okay. I'm, not, I'm going to skip the five stairs. Now, since it's, I need something to like compare it to for like top speed runs. So that's why I'm going to be using the newly, the new, the newly added um, a car and a beam, um, the the G Gavril Blue Book, which I'm going to test top speed. These two probably have like, these two have like about the same amount of horsepower, 1,000. Yeah, I'm going, I'm not going to use that one for it right now. If I can find something that can, uh, has, that has like something that has, like, the same amount, you know, just for yeah. it. I'm going to test this, um, stock car versus my Phoenix. Um. For, so for this stock car, it has like slow starts. It gets up to speed really quickly. I haven't tested this car out lately, so... You still have to even get it up. Hold a little. Um, let's not stop. Just stop speed. Okay, let's go. Impressive. So acceleration is continuous. So this is what makes a um, this is what makes this like look in like like slow continuous a uh, movement like engine um, speed. But now we're going to test how speed. Looks like the top speed of this is 175 miles per hour. Now let's test this one. How fast has, can this go? Remember, this has nine gears because it has an advanced automatic um, gearbox. It has nine gears that has like four gears, so like five gears more than the other one. But will this be stable enough to? I'm going to stop speed. It said it has 10% on um, wheel spin. But that's like when driving like sideways. This, when, but when going in a straight line, it's easy to like drive. 
which is really rare for like any card that has like at that much wheel spin because like like a card with like 10% wheel spin you'll be expecting this will like like instantly have the wheel spin but no since I made the engine to be like to just go like see it doesn't go instant but it's it's um, high RPM Basically, 40, like this is about 45 miles per hour faster than the stock car, which has a tuned up engine, and uh, it's now destroyed, bodies destroyed, that's destroyed. But I also want to compare like how bad the wheel spins are. <coughs> um, so the wheel spin. Let's go for a Python. Python because it's similarly colored. That's like the only reason why I took it. like this is a 1000 horsepower but this is really uncontrollable like you can have less horsepower and yet still be uncontrollable um, see top speed since this is also a wheel spin monster I'll just have to see I know last time I tried I said when I made this car like I wouldn't test it out but now I'm going to and that's one of the reasons why I didn't do it
this can go 220 miles per hour. Basically, it's the lightness that helps, even with like a little amount of horsepower. for today's video um for the um phoenix um the phoenix um, that'll be it for today's video of the phoenix rinser and uh, i'll see you soon in the next video if you liked the video please like and subscribe and please let me know what to build next